Rockstar Health and Fitness. Today we're at the House of Rock in Santa Monica and our guest was so much fun on season one that we've invited him back again. From the multi-platinum group Headley, we have lead singer Jake Hogard in the house. I don't know if you're ready to go, but I'm willing to take you go. Hi Jake. Hey Lori. How's it going? 60-40. 60 good? Yeah, you always say the winning team score first. Okay, so. okay, God, good. Yeah. Thanks for the clarification. Holding. Yeah, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. I'm holding it together. Yeah? Yeah. We've obviously covered some ground this summer traveling, haven't we? Yeah, I'd say a substantial amount of globe has been trotted by yes. us. Jake, Dave, and I have literally traveled most of the United States promoting your latest single. Kiss You Inside Out. Yes, Kiss You Inside Out. They're number one in Canada and top 25 here in the U.S. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, it's probably the biggest single you've ever had, right? I believe that's the case. It is the I case, I believe it's actually. far surpassed all of our other ones, which is really great having four records out already and the most recent single being the most successful one. You it keep seems, raising the bar. Yeah, it seems to be like a thing. Fantastic. I'm happy with that. It's harder to climb up onto it sometimes. And you like, like in the to morning climb. when you don't stretch. Or... And speaking of raising the bar, what's next for Headley? Well, Frigg! Um, that's a great question. You know, we're going to be playing some shows all the way through the new year, and then we're going to jump into the studio and make a fifth studio record. So Fantastic. that's a really exciting thing, too, just because that, like, to, to be at that point in your uh, career is just a really neat feeling to be still doing it. And raising the bars. Raising bars. And obviously, since we've been traveling all summer and having a lot of fun out on the road, I know how busy you are. Yeah. Your schedule's a little crazy, yeah. thanks to me. It's pretty slam packed. <laughs> um, so, how do you incorporate health and fitness into your busy schedule? Well, I try to, like, for the most part, even at if we're just in the middle of nowhere and all they've got is a TGI Fridays, I'm gonna eat spinach salad. Nice. You know, get some salmon on it too. My favorite. Yeah, I learned a couple tricks. Jake from orders Laura for me too. now. Yeah. By the way, what have you learned from me since we've traveled so much? Um, you take really good care of yourself diet-wise and uh, health-wise. You're always sort of focused on what's going on next and really driven work-wise, which keeps your focus. And then outside of that, you just always have um, you know, fitness in mind when you're taking care of yourself, whether it's like take the stairs at the hotel as opposed to the elevator, which I try to do as much as possible. It's the little things. Wow, so do you think some of it might have rubbed off? Yeah, there was a little bit of rubbing going on in the last few, uh, uh -oh. last few months. <laughs> and uh, one thing I can say that I know Jake does everywhere we go is he finds a place to work out and does you do your little push-up, you do handstands. Yeah, you that's all. I just try to like... Your... Yeah, it's nothing crazy. It's not a lot, but it's... I feel like enough physical assertion a day to keep your heart rate going, to keep your metabolism active. Those are the little things that go a long way. Especially when you need that little burst of energy. Just Bust a bit. out that yeah. handy dandy push-up. Get push the up. Red Bull, just do some push-ups, <laughs> get your heart rate going. I run, I bring my sneakers with me everywhere I go, so try to hit the trails here while I'm in California. Ah, yeah. And I know your routine now as well, and I know that when you're on a regular tour, you're really disciplined. You're really disciplined. Yeah, on a regular tour, it's like run all the stairs in the stadium and eat really, really well and take care of yourself and do yoga and all that jazz yeah, because you sort of have the infrastructure around you to afford that type of a schedule. So yeah, you, you do got to last, and a lot of it's essentially endurance, you know, really mm -hmm. long shows every night can take a lot out of you, but if you're taking care of yourself, if you're sleeping well and you're eating well, you can hedge your bets pretty successfully. Right on. Well, while you're here, will you show us a few things maybe in the kitchen? Absolutely. So we're here in the kitchen segment with Jake. And remember what you made last time? Was it soup? No, <laughs> it was the basil and goat cheese salad. Oh yeah, that's I still delicious. eat that, that was that's amazing. That's a good salad, right? You're quite the cook. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. In fact, what are we going to do today? Well, we're not cooking at all today. Even but better. We're processing some raw food, which is the best way for you to digest or ingest food, and also the best way for you to digest food. Okay. When it's raw and unprocessed. And we're doing the very simple. I call it the hangover solution. Uh, the ingredients we have: very, very simple, very straightforward bananas, which are made of 100% real banana. And, uh, so, Nothing processed. No, some classic California avocados, which is a super fruit. Is it a fruit? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm going with it. And, um, and, and it pineapple. And it's a super food, so you're right. High, 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 high 
in vitamin C. Okay. And really, really good natural sugar for you, especially after you've been dehydrated. So oh. the combination of the three together, uh, the bananas and pineapple especially take away a little bit of that almost meatier avocado taste, because avocado by itself isn't necessarily sweet, but it's incredible for you, and so the combination of the three in a smoothie is exactly what you need to get yourself out and of And bananas and avocados are perfect for the consistency of the smoothie. They Absolutely. Help, right? No, for how smooth it gets. And, uh, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so show what do we do? Well, what you do is you put the avocado in the thing, but you can't use a full avocado because there's a pin in it, silly turkey. It'll mess up my little blender. Yeah, so I've, I've uh, we had some slaves pre-cut the avocado. AKA you. AKA I did it. And then uh, it goes straight to Banana Town. And uh, this is how I always peel bananas. You know what else? That I was did? actually really smooth. Of me that was. There just now. That was a perfectly ripe banana. Indeed, you know what else more. I like to put in my smoothies? Liquor. I do. Liquor. What? <laughs> exactly. Whiskey. No, just kidding. Almonds. Where's the whiskey? Almonds. You have almonds? Oh, really? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. And then you get protein in there. What an too. incredible item here you have. This is my. Bullet. This. I'm gonna honestly tell you, it's changed my life. I because you can put anything. You can in put there. everything in it, and it just comes in its raw form. You'll see. Put how Legos and. I should have put more banana, but I'm cramming it we in there. Put more. I think it's going to be, we're really testing the magic bullet's limits. It does pretty well. I, I test it regularly. It's only because I'm healthy that I can do that. <laughs> All right. This is, this is in here now. Okay. We need some liquid Yeah, a little juice. A little pineapple so 100%. You could, you could probably put just about anything in there. Made from 100% fresh pineapple. Yeah, you could put any juice in here. Also, whiskey coke is good. <laughs> Just nothing carbonated. Right. Not, I mean, the hard way. Really? Does that get explosive? All right, are we explosive. ready? Explosive. There it is, Lori. Is that what you're looking for? Is that how it normally oh, tastes? Oh, man. This is so amazing. Is your hangover gone? It's not gone at all, but I know that it's on its way out the door. Make way. It will be after we drink that. Hangover. All right, so you've got all kinds of potassium, vitamin C. You've got the natural fats and natural protein from the avocado, so you're pretty much covered, right? Right, that's what I'm talking about. Now and hydrating. For a nice street vendor hot dog with extra cheese, the <laughs> kind from a can. And <laughs> the processed cheese? Yeah. You're it's all about balance, so if you're homes. drinking this every day. So you, moderation's all about being excessive sometimes. Got it, and then, under control. Yeah. All right. I feel. So we'll drink this and then you're gonna show me another workout? I'm gonna drink all of this actually. This is delicious. And it's no pretty way. filling. Yeah, it is filling. It's a little dense, but just, you know, just enough to get you going in the morning. All right. You can add well, protein powder, that. you can add caffeine powder, you know, you can Almonds, just. Almonds, goji berries, take it to the next aloe vera, level. anything. Right? I love it. Perfect. All right, well, on that note, let's go work let's out. Let's go play outside. All right, let's go. Okay. But I want to break this. Welcome to the fitness segment. Should I be afraid? No, you shouldn't be afraid. I have nothing terrifying to... No. No? All right. So I kind of have an idea of what your workout routine consists of, but what's your favorite thing that you do? Uh, honestly, it sounds really boring, but I've been enjoying running lately. Only because to get yourself to a point where you can run effectively requires a lot more work than you'd think. And it is actually really difficult to do because you're using your entire body at the same time. Mm -hmm. But it's an incredible cardiovascular workout. It's great for your metabolism. It's great for your stamina. It's great for your endurance. It's great for your lung capacity, exactly. for your breathing, your joints. A lot of people are under this common misconception that when they start running and their knees hurt, they're like, oh my God, my knees hurt when I run. I shouldn't run. But all you gotta do is push yourself a little to get over that first bump of those initial joint pains, initial tendon pains. It's actually one of the most effective exercises you can do. So I've been doing a lot of running lately from the, the law and my past. And, <laughs> and you can do it anywhere, right? Anywhere. And running's free. Yeah, running's it free. It gets you outside. I, and when you travel, you can see the sights at the same time as you're That's absolutely out. right. Uh, you can actually just run in any direction you want for 15 minutes. And even if you have to walk back, then it was, Explore. yeah, totally. Yeah. Okay, so running and? That, and then just like. Your other favorite thing. Yeah, you know, I do, like you just do push-ups and, you know, and stuff to keep your body from not being sessile all the time. Because sometimes when I'm traveling, I can't go out and exercise or climb trees or build stuff. So I have to do things to. And by run. the way, I have had to pull them out of trees before. You do like to climb. And he, you would climb to the tippy top. Yeah. I don't know how you do it, you must be part monkey. I'm half monkey, actually. It's my, my dad's side. 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, no, that actually helps too. Climbing is a great thing for you to do. Anytime you can lift your own body weight, you're effectively using, using yeah. your own muscles correctly. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, well, we'll start climbing trees, but first you want to show us your fantastic push-up? Oh, okay. I like to do it on stuff that's higher. Okay. Should I drag this over here? This loud thing, for example, it's really effective. Anyways, when you do that, you just kind of are like raising the amount of weight your body has to uh, has to carry wow. for it. So then you can just sort of do that however you want. You could do this if you have like a sore leg or something. You can do it that way. <laughs> but for the most part, that's kind of all it is. I always like to do it like this. This is how my dad always did it. He said Why? this is how men do it. What does that do? I don't know what it does, but it's better for your wrists as opposed to this where that's kind of ah, intense on your wrist. Got that's it. just like a little more. Uh, All right, should we demonstrate our favorite thing? You want to demonstrate that thing you really want to do. Okay, so you want to know, show them a way how you could turn up the intensity? Well, you should show them because I, this is, I don't know how it's intense or if it's exercise, but. All right, well. You're pretty keen on this. Assume so. your position. <laughs> okay, so you, just this, right? Yeah, basically. Okay. Is that it? You, are you solid? Oh yeah. Now I know this looks weird, but it is. <laughs> so this is the thing, right? Is this something? This is it. Now do you like, push up. <laughs> is that something? Yeah. Is this exercise? <laughs> I guess that's a thing. Did it make it harder? It did. It made it harder and slightly more awkward. All right, so there you have a couple options to choose yeah, from. Regular push-up, you could use the table, or you could do partner push-ups. Partner push-ups are also a thing nowadays. Just keep running, keep moving. Keep running, keep moving, keep your body active. That's probably the best thing you can do. Most of us just sit around all day too and long anyway. And your body anyway. adapts to your lifestyle. So if you're sitting around, your body's going to be very That's a great point. Your body does adapt to your lifestyle. And the more active you are, the more responsive your body becomes and, at any and, age. And it transcends into your life on every level, it right? It should. That's what's so great about uh, being a human being and capable of moving around is that we should. Absolutely. Well, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for thank you for having me to stop <laughs> by. You're welcome. And be sure to tune in next week. And until then, remember, it's not a choice. It's a lifestyle. We'll see you later. Extra Bye. french fries. Large fries. <laughs>